sinfulness. How do we look at each other? As so we allow our anger to control us, then we're on the way to condemnation. But we let the spirit of reconciliation control us, then we're on our way, that narrow path to life. That spirit which enables us also to control our tongues, what comes out of our mouths, as St. Peter points out, we're called not to tear each, down, each other down or to speak falsehoods with our tongue. But we have to decline to give and to do good, including with what we say. And he pointed out Nathaniel as a true Israelite because in him there was no guile, so there were no lies came out of the mouth of Nathaniel. But for Far, far beyond Nathaniel and anyone else in, in the spirit of, of living the law, of total love of God and love for neighbor as oneself, of course, is Our Lady. And she is there, not only as an example to us, but there also to help us. Two days from now, we have a feast of Our Lady of Mount Carmel, the Lady of the Scapular. She appeared on the 16th of July to St. Simon Stock with the Scapular. And he, she told him, whoever rose wears this habit at the hour of death, they will be saved. That's quite a promise. But what, does, what does it mean to wear the scalp? It means to clothe ourselves with Jesus Christ. So we have a beautiful image of Our Lady Mount Carmel. She appears with the child Jesus in one arm and the scapular in her other hand, inviting us then by means of the scapular to draw closer to her, to her son Jesus, and live the spirit of the Beatitudes. He embodies each one of those Beatitudes. For our hearts, one of the mourns, one of those meek of hearts, who's hungry for justice, who's merciful, who's peaceful, who's the peacemaker, who suffers for what is right, suffers for the sake of the kingdom. Jesus loved all this and more, and so too is his beloved mother. I got to experience the beauty of the devotion to Our Lady Mount Carmel in, in Chile. There's a couple of great shrines to Our Lady, one in the northern, northern Chile called La Tirada, and that's quite a story behind that uh, shrine. In the interest of time, I have to make it be very brief because I have a mass uh, at 5 here this afternoon back in Riverside, so if you have the time to look into it, of course it's mostly in, in Spanish, which we find about La Tirada. It's a truly a magnet that's shrine to Our Lady of Mount Carmel draws people not only from Chile but also from the surrounding countries of Bolivia and Peru. People who call upon her intercession and have, have been heard and return every year to celebrate the feasts with the music and dancing and heartfelt veneration. And you can see it. You have to watch some of the videos on YouTube, you can see it. It's these feel that this is truly the mother who has been there for them and when they most needed her. And of course we know that many unfortunate things have happened in Chile. The church in Chile in recent times have come to light. Failures on the part of some bishops and priests, including <coughs> one bishop who was the, in charge of that shrine to Our Lady of Mount Carmel in northern Chile one time. For that very reason, I'd like to offer this prayer to the Blessed Virgin Mary, for the, a church that's, that's wounded, but still very much alive. Oh, most beautiful flower of Mount Carmel, fruitful vine, splendor of heavens, Blessed Mother, the Son of God, Immaculate Virgin, assist us in this our necessity, O star of the sea, help us and show us herein, herein you are our mother. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Queen of Heaven and Earth, I humbly beseech you from the bottom of our, of our hearts to succor us in this necessity. There are none who can withstand your power. Well, show, show us, Karen, that you are our Mother, Mary, conceived without sin, 
pray for us who have recourse to the Omeri conceived without sin, pray for us who have recourse to the Omeri conceived without sin, pray for us who have recourse to the sweet mother, we place this cause in your hand, sweet mother, we place this cause in your hand, sweet mother, we place this cause in your hand. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.